Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic mechanical properties of solids. This is what the problem is. If the radius of a wire is stretched double to its initial length, initial value, how does its increase in the length is get affected when compared with the first case? So its increase in the length is affected means we have to talk in terms of Young's modulus of the material. We know Young's modulus is defined as the ratio of longitudinal stress to that of the longitudinal strain. You know, Young's modulus is defined, ref, uh, referred in terms of y. Longitudinal stress is force by area. Longitudinal strain is increase in the length by original length. So, force into length by area into delta L. It is now given in the problem that if radius is doubled, what happens? That means area of cross section is being affected because we know area of cross section is assuming it like the wire is having a circular area of cross section pi r square. If you double the area, area of cross section is also going to be affected, increased, and when the area of cross section is in effect, uh, affected, it is obvious that its length cannot remain same. But there is no information given in the problem regarding the length. As it is not given, we have to express the length also in terms of area. Thus, we can write volume of the given wire is area of the cross section into length, which remains constant. As there is no information is given regarding the length, I can write the length as that constant by area of cross section, some k by a. So I can rewrite the Young's modulus definition as force into length, but length is not known to us. I know only area. So I will write in the place of L k by a by area of cross section and delta L. Rearranging the terms force into k by a square into L. Substituting the value of the area of cross section as something like pi r square, I can write Young's modulus as force into some constant in the place of area pi r square assuming like area of cross section is circular and L. You know, I have to write, of course, this L is nothing but equal to increase in the length delta L. What is the increase in the length? Is? So I can rewrite my equation for delta L as force into constant by pi square r power 4 and Young's modulus. One thing that you need to know for a given wire, Young's modulus is constant, pi square is constant, k is of course constant. Assuming we have applied a constant force, it's not a variable force. Taking all that into consideration, you will get your delta L directly proportional to 1 by r power 4 as all the other terms are constants. Then I can write delta L1 by delta L2 equal to R2 by R1 whole power 4 because it is inversely proportional to R power 4. R2 is 2R in our problem, radius is doubled. R1 is R itself, whole power 4. So 2 power 4 is nothing but equal to 16. So increase in the length in the original radius and when the radius is doubled is 16 is to 1. That means delta L2 equal to delta L1 by 16. That means the wire is going to expand 
by only 1 by 16th when compared with the expansion in that of a first case. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.